Hi there, I'm going to be making some chewy oatmeal chocolate chip cookies today. Uh, one of my favorite recipes. Uh, again, using melted butter to start with. I really like this because I often forget to plan ahead and take my butter out of the fridge to let it soften. So being able to use melted butter works really well for uh, cookie recipes for me. So I'm starting with one cup or two sticks of melted butter in my bowl. And to that, I'm going to add uh, half a cup of white sugar. And then I'm going to add a cup and a half of uh, brown sugar. So that also helps keep them nice and chewy as well. Get the half out, there we go. Uh, and then I'm just going to uh, mix that together. And to that, I'm going to add two whole eggs. Just gonna dump those straight in there and mix that up. Here we go, and next I'm going to add in two teaspoons of vanilla. And mix that in. All right, and then I'm going to add in my dry ingredients on top of that. So I am adding in one and a half cups of flour. And then I'm going to add in a, a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking soda. And I like to add cinnamon into my cookies, uh, so I'm going to add in a teaspoon of cinnamon. Now if you don't like cinnamon, don't add it in. It's just an optional ingredient, but I like the flavor it adds, especially with the chocolate chips in the end. So I'm gonna give that a quick mix and then add in my oats. So to this, I'm gonna add two and a half cups of old-fashioned oats, not quick cooking oats, just your regular old-fashioned oats. And I'm going to add a whole packet. I'm using Hershey's Special Dark Chocolate Chips, um, but you can use whatever kind of chocolate chips you like, or you can use butterscotch chips or anything like that. So I'm using a 12-ounce bag, uh, or roughly a heaping cup of um, chocolate chips or chunks. So you could cut up a chocolate bar as well if you prefer chunks. There we go. So now I'm going to take my dough and just pop a bowl into the fridge for 30 minutes to let it chill a little bit and then I'm going to scoop out my cookies. So I'll let it chill and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's chilled a bit. Okay, so I've had my dough, cookie dough, in the fridge for about half an hour. And as you can see, it's thickened up nicely. That means that I'll be able to scoop it much easier uh, into little mounds on the cookie sheets. Now, I'm going to use a cookie scoop to do this. If you don't have one of these, you can just use a, a tablespoon or a teaspoon, depending on the size of cookies you want, and just roll them up and put them into a little ball. Now, I like to leave them mounded so that they keep their height a little bit better. And with the chilled cookie dough, that helps also. Uh, and it also means that all the nice flavors uh, have had a chance to combine. So I'm just going to go ahead and you can just see when I scoop these out. They stay in little mounds. And I'm just going to actually leave them like that to bake. So I'm going to get these scooped out onto my tray and into a 350 degree oven for probably about 10 to 12 minutes or so. I just want them to turn sort of a light golden color uh, and still be a little bit soft in the middle. So I'll go ahead and do that and I will come back and show you what they look like uh, once they come out of the oven. Okay, so these are my cookies out of the oven. Now these ones were a little bit um, bigger than I guess I normally make, so they took about 18 minutes to cook. So I would adjust my time to say that it takes anywhere from probably more like 13 15 minutes to 18 minutes, depending on the size of cookies that you're making. Uh, and they do spread out, so make sure you do leave enough room on the cookie tray for them to do that. But as you can see, they're, they're still a nice sort of thickness. thickness. They're not too, uh, too flat or anything like that. And they do stay nice and chewy as well. So these are still a bit warm, but um, I'll break one open for you. So you can see that it's still really sort of soft and squidgy and really nice in the middle. So they'll stay like that. Um, 
obviously while they're still warm. Um, but they stay nice, sort of a chewy kind of consistency to the cookies. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed them. Give them a go and uh, see what you think. If you like my video, please do give me a thumbs up and please, please subscribe to see what else I'm up to. Thanks very much.